hello welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video so today is my day off work and it's already getting on a little bit um but i have been having quite a productive morning i did allow myself to have a lie-in um i then went food shopping and i've just got back i've just put on a load of washing and i've been cleaning up and doing a few housey chore bits um and i just kind of thought why don't i get the camera out and vlog what i'm up to today because i yeah i'm doing quite a few i was gonna say interesting things i've got a few things planned um i'm going to get my hair done this afternoon at three o'clock i've got a hair appointment i'm only getting it cut but i think i might get like a pretty decent trim so i thought i could show you guys that in this video i've also um just put some soup on to cook well i've just put some veg to roast to then make into a soup never made soup before i don't even really like soup that much but i'm trying to teach myself to like it because i feel like it's a good way to get veg in and i basically saw this video on tiktok i wanted to give it a go it's like a tomato creamy tomato soup um but obviously the ones you buy in like tins and stuff are really sugary and not very good for you so i thought if i can make my own i can get a few portions out of it it's probably cheaper it's going to be healthier for sure and it's something fun to do so i will show you guys that when i finish making it um yeah i just thought i'd film my day um so i hope that you enjoy it so i thought some of you might be interested in this i picked up this notebook from typo the other day um and i couldn't decide what i was going to do with it and i've decided to turn it into like a bit of a journal um i used to love journaling when i was younger i actually kept a diary for five years um i don't do that anymore but I wanted to get back into writing a little bit so I picked up this I decided to use it as a journal and then I kind of thought I want it to be more than just like this is what I did today so I was looking on Pinterest for inspiration the other night um, and I saw that people were doing these 30 days of journaling so I'm gonna start this I haven't actually started it yet um, but I've written out all of the prompts that I'm gonna use so what I will do rather than reading them all out is I will um, show you guys like this and if you're interested you can screenshot and yeah I'm basically gonna make my way through all of these um, I got them offline I did like a mixture of different prompts and kind of like made my own like ones that I think I would actually like to answer and write about. I think journaling is really fun and it's something that I've been meaning to get back into for a while. So yeah, here are some prompts in case you guys want to do the same. Anyway, I'm going to go and show you the soup that I have made. This is my outfit for today in case any of you were wondering. You probably weren't. It's a very um, boring at home outfit. I've got my zebra trousers on which are from... Top shop that I literally wear all the time, though I've got them on ASOS. I've got this little Malibu top on from New Look, and then I've got my little like lounge underwear bralette thing underneath it, which is super comfy. Anyway, I shut the door because I'm doing washing and it's very loud. But anyway, let me show you guys what soup I'm making. So basically, in a little roasting tin, I won't open it because I don't want to. Oh, it smells delicious. So in a roasting tin, I've got four like big um, on the vine tomatoes that I've taken off the vine. Oh my god, one of them's actually like split in half. Um, I've got onion, just white onion, chopped up into bits. And then I chopped up a carrot as well and put that in because that's what the recipe says to do. I then covered it in like loads of herbs. I think I did like sage, basil, salt and pepper. So hopefully that'll be really nice. And then once they're actually cooked, I'm gonna put it in a blender with some single cream. Hopefully it tastes nice. Also, if you're wondering, I did a food shop a minute ago, so I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, I got a Sainsbury's tomato mascarpone pasta sauce to go with um, this pasta here, which I picked up, oh, it's upside down, spinach and ricotta tortellini. Um, I picked up these two on offer and I absolutely love them. These are the Greek style kebabs from Vivira, is that how you pronounce it? I absolutely love this stuff, um, so I picked up that because it was on offer. Got some tzatziki to go in with the Greek things. Um, I got baby bells, cheese, what else did I get? I got some like crunchy salad stuff. I really like this stuff because it's got um, red cabbage and stuff in it, so I got that. I got the tomatoes for the soup. Um, what else did I get? I swear I got more than that. I got a loaf of bread. I got some of these, which I love. These are for the um, for the Greek wraps I'm going to make. They're like flatbreads, and they're honestly delicious. So I have one of these. I do the Greek style kebab vegan stuff. Then I put salad and tzatziki in it, and it's honestly delicious. 
Um, I got some bananas, some kiwis, and some figs, because I really like figs at the moment. They're very expensive. These were two pounds, but I'm going through a phase where I really, really like them, so I got that. And then what else did I get? Oh, I got some more coffee, because I'd run out. Um, and then I picked up this, which I just used and it actually smells delicious it's the zaflora cucumber and mint um antibacterial spray so whilst i'm vlogging today i thought i might as well show you guys what i got in my october degusta box um if you haven't watched my videos before then you won't know but basically degusta box very very kindly send me one of their snack boxes every single month for me to try and for me to share with you guys um, and I've also got a discount code so I will leave that down below in the description box if you're interested but yeah this month's box which is the October box is the movie night box and I've had a quick look I haven't properly looked at anything yet and I haven't tried any of it um, so yeah let's dig in so the product of the month is this Passata it's by the brand Mutti Mooty, I don't know how to pronounce it. Probably just completely ruined that name. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is the product of the month. I'm really, I really want to try making pizza. I think maybe I'll do that. I might cheat and buy the pizza bases. But I think with this passata, I think that's got to be the thing I make, surely. I think I'm going to try and make pizzas. If I do that, I will vlog it. Um, next up, we've got some classic hot dog rolls pre-cut. Interesting. I never... I don't think I've ever made hot dogs or had hot dogs at home. Like, I see that as a thing you get if you're out. But, definitely excited to try them. I will have to have a hot dog night um, and get some nice... Actually, no, do you know what? I just love the Richmond vegan or vegetarian sausages. Probably just use those and put them in there. That would be really good. With, like, some ketchup, maybe a bit of barbecue sauce. Delicious. Um, next thing I've just picked up is these, which are vanilla Cheerios very excited to try them it's a really cute little box can you tell how small that is um i am actually getting into cereal a little bit more now and i am getting into having breakfast and i'm trying to have like a bit more of a substantial breakfast so i don't get so hungry at work because with my invisalign i can't really snack at work um so i have to wait till lunchtime so super excited to try these i'm hoping they'll be like really vanilla -y and really nice this is their low sugar so hopefully that's true um so yeah should be should be nice to try those a new cereal to give a go got some like chocolatey things which obviously i'm excited about got some reese's cups oh my god I'm so excited about these i've then got something called a double bite protein bar chocolate crisp that'd be interesting i've actually been going to the gym and going swimming and stuff a bit more so i will have that are you supposed to have a protein bar before you go to the gym or after I'm not sure. Can someone let me know in the comments, please? Okay, next up is something I'm really excited to try. Um, I think I'm going to do like a little tapas evening. And I'm going to have these with it. These are bruschetta crisps by the brand Moretti. They are tomato, olives and oregano flavour. Oh my god, how delicious. I love anything like Spanishy. Are they Spanish? Have I just butchered that? I don't know. I think they are. I love olives, tomato, all that kind of good stuff. Um, next up we've got some pretzel thins and it literally feels like there's nothing in this bag like I'm not even kidding they're by the brand Indie Bay got really cool branding actually really like the packaging of those um, lightly salted pretzels they look really nice got some ranch no blue cheese dressing and dip yum I feel like I could put that on salads what else could I do with it a blue cheese dip what could I dip in that I don't know, but that is like up my street. Blue cheese dip. I bet that's going to be delicious. Um, I love the packaging again. Like how nice is that pattern? Very excited about that. Oh, it's by the brand Newman's Own, if anyone was wondering. Next, we have some pot noodles. Now, these are, I'm guessing they're new. They are pot noodle fusions and they are both vegan. We've got a chili chicken flavour and a Thai green curry flavour. Um... I am not great with spice, so I'm hoping they're not going to be ridiculously spicy. They have got a picture of a dragon on them, so I'm guessing they might be a bit hot. Um, I'm excited about the Thai green curry, because I've never had a Thai green curry, ever. Uh, next, we've got some Vitties, V.I.B.'s, indulgent chocolate cherry flavour, caramel and milk chocolate digestives. Oh my god, look at these. I'm very intrigued to try these. Cherry... McVitie's. These are actually the um, original caramel and chocolate digestives are my favourite biscuit. I literally love them. So I am excited to give those a go, although I'm 
skeptical about the cherry. Oh, we've got another pack of pretzels, barbecue ones, which even better than salted. We've got some, gosh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Sempio Korean barbecue stir fry sauce. Very nice, very handy to have in the cupboard. And then last but not least, I'm very, very excited about these. I haven't seen poppets in bloody years. Um, I don't know whether they've come back, or whether they've always been around and I've just not realized. But we've got a toffee packet of poppets, which I used to love. They honestly give me so much nostalgia. Remember, they used to come in little cardboard boxes and you'd like, oh, I used to love them. Um, although, kind of sad that they've now put them in plastic. Like, is that necessary? They used to be in cardboard, and now they're in plastic. Um, and then these ones, which I'm so excited about. These are Poppet, Poppets? <laughs> Poppets mix-ups. What mouthful. You get toffee, salted caramel, multi crunch, and chocolate. And when I saw these, it instantly reminded me of Rebels. And then I remembered how much I used to love Rebels and how, like, not knowing what sweet you're going to get was just so exciting. Um, so very excited to give these a go. Guys, I've decided to have a snack. I'm going to sit and watch a bit of TV. Um, but, yeah, basically the soup, the vegetables are, like, almost done. They've got five more minutes in the oven. But then I think I'm going to have to cool them for quite a while before I blend them. And I'm honestly starving. Like, my stomach feels like it's caving in. Um, I don't know why I'm so hungry. So I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to try these Indie Bay barbecue pretzels. My washing machine is suddenly very loud. Okay, let's give them a go. Don't, I don't really ever eat pretzels. The only ones I can think of is the ones I used to get in school. And they're like sour cream and chive pretzels. I can't remember what brand they are, but they're the only ones I've ever really had. These are really good. And they're a bit dry, but I like them. They're really nice. Flavour is delicious. I need some dip or something. Because that... It's very dry. What can I dip them in? Okay, I've just... <coughs> I'm okay. <laughs> God. I've just poured a bit of that blue cheese sauce into a pot and I'm going to give it a go. So, killing two birds with one stone here. I really hope this is nice. It does smell a bit funky, but it smells like Caesar dressing. That's so much better just a bit dry they needed something that sauce is nice tastes a bit like caesar salad dressing so i'll probably try using it with salad i'm gonna sit and have this as a snack i'm gonna watch some tv um, i'm watching clickbait on netflix i've only just started it so i'm not entirely sure what my thoughts are yet um but i just finished watching squid game and that was honestly incredible so for like anything i watch now doesn't quite live up to my expectations you know but anyway time to relax it's definitely time to go my washing machine's going crazy okay so i've got my veg out of the oven um i've got the big tomatoes carrots onion and i did put some garlic cloves in there as well i've already transferred half of it into this nutribullet i was letting it cool down a bit but i think i'm just gonna give it a go so let's get the cream i'm just gonna add some of that i think i'm gonna do it in like two halves just so that it doesn't explode Okay, it is quite thick, but I don't actually mind soup when it's a bit thick, so I'm just reheating a bit of that. I've put the rest of it in this tub. Oh my god, the lighting. It is soup colour, I promise. Can you see that? Looks a bit yellowy on the camera. The lighting's a bit funny, but um, looks more like butternut squash, I think, because there was a lot of carrots in it. It's gone quite orangey. But anyway, put that on there. Um, that can go in the fridge when it's cooled down. I'm just going to heat up some of this and I'm going to have the rest of this bread, which I got from Tesco the other day. It's a three cheese bloomer. I'm going to cut that up and put some butter on it. Guys, that soup was honestly incredible. Um, like I said, I don't really like soup, but I feel like it's quite a healthy lunch to have. Um, and yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Didn't even really taste like tomato soup. It tasted like... Um, if you've ever had that tomato and mascarpone pasta sauce, one that I actually bought earlier, it literally tasted like that. Um, I had quite a small portion of it because, well, I didn't really make a huge amount. I just sort of guessed how much I made. Um, and I also wouldn't have wanted any more because it was quite rich, I think, because of the cream. But absolutely delicious. I'm just touching up my makeup and then I'm going to be leaving to go to the hairdressers um, my appointment is at three o'clock it's currently like half past two 
so I'll probably leave soon. So yeah, I'm just touching up my makeup before I go into town. Um, anyway, I want to show you guys this quickly. This is the new foundation that I was talking about. It's honestly so good. It does kind of, I feel like by the end of the day it does look slightly patchy but i get that with any foundation that i use and the one i was using before was the it cosmetics cc cream and i absolutely loved that but it didn't have a huge amount of coverage and my skin would look really greasy by the end of the day whereas this one my skin still looks like not greasy at all i don't know how to explain it because it doesn't make my skin look matte but it also doesn't make it look shiny at all anyway i picked this up in tk maxx um and it's the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And this is supposed to be £32 and I got it for 9 99 And I kind of picked it up on a whim. I'd never really heard anything about it. But I know that Becca is a really great brand. And I saw it in TK Maxx and I thought it looks like my kind of colour. So I'm going to get it. It looks like this. Um, just comes out in like a pump. I've already got it super messy. But I've been using that every single day since I got it. And I have been really enjoying it. It covers up spots so well like my skin is quite bad at the moment and i picked a load of spots all on my face this morning put my makeup on and it has literally covered them up like my skin looks quite flawless today um even though it's not so yeah i just wanted to show you guys that i don't know if i'd pay 32 pounds for it but because i got it as a bargain i'm super happy with it and I don't know this for sure, but I'm guessing that because I picked it up in TK Maxx, it's maybe like old stock or maybe like a discontinued foundation or something. Um, so obviously that might not be very helpful to some people, but I have been really enjoying this. It gives great coverage. The only thing is, is that it kind of cracks on your skin a little bit after a while, but I don't really mind because I really like the coverage. So that's what I've been loving. Um, I'm just going to put some more glossier boy brow in my brows got a lovely spot there i really need to do another glossier order because there's literally no product left in this and i've been using it for so long in the exact same state and i just haven't done anything about it i also really need to buy some new eyelash curlers because these ones are broken um like the little cushiony bit that's in it fell out and i've just like shoved it back in but it's not really doing what it's supposed to yeah i've got a few bits i need to order really i did um a couple of online orders the other day just for like random bits i got some more of my function of beauty um shampoo and conditioner because i'd run out and i absolutely love it so i got another set of that i got a different scent and like did a different formula this time so i'm excited to try that um and then i ordered some jewelry from boho moon if you guys haven't checked out boho moon before honestly you should like i bought some jewelry from there a couple of years ago and it looked it was like fake gold obviously it was only like 10 pounds and i've still got the jewelry today and it still looks like real gold like it doesn't tarnish it literally looks incredible so i did an order on there the other night and got some earrings a couple of rings and a necklace um so i'm sure i'll be putting it on instagram so make sure you're following me on instagram if you want to see what i picked up but yeah i'm gonna get a jacket on get my bag together and then i'm gonna go to the hairdressers i'm not gonna take you with me um because i don't know the girl very well that does my hair and this will be my second time meeting her so i don't really want to be like filming it so um and plus it's only a haircut i'm literally just getting a trim so i will talk to you guys when i get home and when i've got brand new hair that has no split ends Okay hey guys, so I'm back from the hairdressers. I've just been playing around with my hair to try and get it kind of how I like it. Um, I've got this really weird thing. Let me know down below in the comments if anyone else has this. But whenever I go to the hairdressers and I get my hair done, I never really like the way that it's styled. Um, I think that's just because I'm not used to it looking so, like, styled. Because I just put it in a plait and make it go a bit wavy and that's it but obviously my hairdresser has like properly styled it i really love it it feels so much healthier than what it did um like she's taken a good couple of inches off it so it feels super soft super healthy really really happy with it and i've booked in again for january um at the start of next year so that i can get a cut and color i only got it cut this time um because didn't really need the color doing and i didn't want to get it done for the sake of it um so yeah i'm back super happy with it like i said i'm just waiting for it to drop a little bit because right now um i don't mind this bit but like the front bit is far too curly for my liking oh 
It's a very loud airplane. Anyway, I popped into town as well after I got my hair done. I just really wanted a few new clothes and I've looked in shops recently and I haven't been able to find anything. So I popped into Primark because I haven't been to Primark in so long and I got a lot of stuff. So I'm not gonna show you guys in this video just because that would take up like a huge chunk of it. So I'm gonna film a haul tomorrow morning and then that will be up on my channel very soon to keep your eyes peeled for that. I'll probably do the vlog first and then I'll do the Primark haul afterwards. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Honestly, you got some really good bits. So make sure you watch that when it is available. I also popped into Krispy Kreme, which is really naughty because I'm trying to be healthy at the moment. Well. I say I'm trying to be healthy. I'm just trying to like be a bit more mindful of what I'm eating. I had a bit of a phase where I would literally eat like whatever I wanted and I was noticing that I was putting on a bit of weight and I was noticing that I just felt bloated all the time and it wasn't very nice. So I'm trying to make a conscious effort to go to the gym more, to go swimming more and to just eat. Obviously I'm still eating intuitively. I'm still eating exactly what I want. I'm not restricting anything in my diet because I think that's for me when I get like a bad relationship with food. So I'm still eating whatever I want, um, but I'm just trying to make like more healthy, nutritious meals like that soup earlier. I just wanted to like do a bit more cooking and stuff like that and have less like takeaway food. Anyway, anyway, I got some Krispy Kremes um, and I was just going to get one, but then I looked at the pricing and it was like £2 for one or £5 something for three. So I was like, I'm just going to get three. Um, I'll eat two. I'll give... I'll give, I'll give one away, I'll save them for like the rest of the week or something, but I just couldn't resist, so I've got three Krispy Kremes. I went for chocolate custard, which is my all-time favourite. I then went for Lotus Biscoff, and then I went for a strawberry cheesecake, and I can't lie to you, I'm so excited to eat them. Um, I'm going to have one for my dessert after I've had dinner. I'm actually getting hungry again, because that lunch was quite small. Um, it's 10 to 5, so I'm probably going to have a little bit of a tidy up, because I need to like hoover and stuff. Um, because Fridays are always my cleaning days, they're always my boring, like, get, get stuff done days. So I'm gonna get all of that boring stuff done, and then I'm gonna make a start on dinner. I will show you guys what I'm making, and yeah, I will catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, so the lighting is very yellow, but that's because I've got my little kitchen lights on because it's got really dark all of a sudden. Um, I'm just about to make some dinner. I've put some sweet potatoes in the microwave. Oh, there's the steam balancing on um so we've got sweet potatoes in there basically i'm gonna make them like a jacket potato i'm gonna cook them in the white cove until they're soft and then put them in the oven to finish them off i am having some weird components to this dinner so don't judge okay it's delicious i can't actually remember where i came up with this dinner but it's one of my like favorite dinners if i want to be healthy but i don't want to feel like i'm eating something healthy if that makes sense so i'm having those roasted and then having some broccoli well a lot of broccoli actually um and then i've just emptied uh emptied i've just got a tin of tuna mixed with some mayo in the fridge and uh, yeah i'm basically gonna have that it sounds weird i know i don't don't remember how i came up with this dinner but it's honestly delicious like if you like sweet potatoes tuna and broccoli you will love this it's honestly so good i'm gonna put a bit of cheese on top lovely salt and pepper broccoli oh it's honestly it's so nice i'll show you it when it's done but anyway that's what i'm currently making um, those donuts are staring at me, but I'm gonna wait till after dinner, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna keep cooking and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, so I know this dinner is probably a lot of people's worst nightmares, but I absolutely love it. I've got mashed up sweet potato, you basically roast them and then like scoop the middle out and it's really delicious. I've then got tuna mayo, cheese, and a shit ton of broccoli. Um, I'm probably gonna need some sauce, get some more mayo. And yeah, I'm very excited to eat this. I am gonna, actually I'm gonna take it over here. Um, I've got my vitamins ready to have, I've got my water, and then I've got my TV set up. I'm watching Clickbait, which is on Netflix. So yeah, I'm gonna sit and eat my dinner, watch a bit of TV, chill out. Hey guys, so it is eight o'clock. I had my dinner and washed up, and then I've literally been lying on the sofa watching TV for like two hours. Um, I didn't realise how late it was, so I'm going to run a bath, I think. That's what I fancy doing, a nice relaxing bath. God, I've got a really painful 
painful spot on my eyebrow um yeah i think i'm gonna run a bath and then i've got a few videos to catch up with on youtube that i want to watch so i've added a couple to my watch later and then i'm gonna run a nice bath relax watch youtube i've got a candle going over here which you can probably see um so i'm probably gonna put that in the bathroom as well and i still haven't had one of my donuts but I am planning on doing it. I'm just like waiting for the perfect moment when I really, really fancy one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna run myself a nice bath. And yeah, I'm gonna call it a day now, guys. I'm gonna end this video here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I will be filming another video tomorrow. Like I said, I'm gonna film a Primark haul, so keep your eyes peeled for that. That'll be up very soon. And this is your sign to go and get your hair cut if you've been putting it off, because I know I always put off doing it, because it's a bit of a chore, isn't it? Um, right, I'm gonna stop rambling, because I'm boring. If you've got this far, you made it this far, can you comment the little hairdresser like emoji? Someone getting their hair cut. You know the one I mean. Um, yeah, comment that down below if you got this far. I hope you're all doing it super well. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Goodbye.